Greetings, boys and girls. It's the 2017 Band of Brew Tubers feckin' hop experiment. Uh, excuse me. Where'd that come from? That came from the beer that I just finished. So I just finished up Tyler's uh, Triple Pearl. First home brew I've ever had in a can, so... Uh, if you missed it, go back and check it out. Um, kind of a cool hop. Interesting. Different. Um, I shared some thoughts on that. And this one is going to be from Mr. Brock. This is the Hollertau Blanc. Um, I've used this hop a few times. but This will be the first time I've, ever, I've had a homebrew with Hollertau Blanc in it. No, that's probably not true. This is the first time I've had an all Hollertal Blanc homebrew slash pale ale. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about this. It's got, uh, let's see, no real specs on it, but it was in, within the guidelines of the, of the uh, experiment. Same malt bill. And then uh, 0.75 ounces at 60 minutes. 1.25 at 15, a 2 ounce Whirlpool, and a 2 ounce Dry Hop. So that sounds, uh, sounds pretty good. Gonna bust out the old Brew Tubers bottle opener. Get over to BrewTubers.com. Um, join up in the forums there. And I think those are available, maybe. Reach out to the admin. Find out. All right, just rinse this baby. Let's get this sucker in a glass. Now, this one looks like it might be just a little bit lighter. Yeah, pretty close on the uh, on the color. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. Oh, good looking carbonation. Good looking beer. Hazy, just like all of them. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, so this is also, um, I pulled the laptop out so I could actually tell you what this is about. <laughs> um, it's also an aroma hop, like Tyler's. Uh, floral, citrus, fruity, herbal. Okay, so this one goes back to 2012. Uh, Hollertal Blanc is one of several new German varieties with bold flavor profiles, perfect for American style ales. Uh, specific aroma descriptors include floral and fruity with passion fruit, grapefruit, pineapple, grape, and lemongrass overtones. Well. Yeah. Pineapple. Passion fruit or uh, guava. Not a mango. Doesn't have really a mango aroma. We'll just say passion fruit. Grapefruit zest. I'm not getting the grape. I'm getting a little bit of maybe lemon, like lemongrass. Hmm, there's something else. Dang, it's lovely. Bright, there's a brightness to this. Floral, maybe? Dang, it's inviting though. The aroma is, is just awesome. I think this is so far my favorite aroma out of the three I've had. Had mine, had uh, Hunter Nails, had Everdy's. I guess this is the fourth, third, that wasn't mine. Cheers. Nice, nice smelling beer, Brock. Hmm. Ah, carbonation's a little lighter than it looked. Pretty solid uh, bittering character on that one. Maybe a little more bitter than, than the others. Tyler so far has been the most bitter. I think this is the next out of the four. 
Chris's was smooth. Mine was pretty smooth. On that bitter, you know, front end bittering charge, I guess. Hmm. Man, I can't get over the aroma. The aroma is so good. The aroma is awesome. Flavor. Hmm. To me, it's like the the lemongrass is kind of like a dominating flavor. And then the, like a white grape, definitely, I, I get that now. In the, but in the flavor, it says aroma, but I'm getting a white grape kind of in the, um, or green grape, whatever, white green. Yeah. Awesome smell on beer. It's nice. It almost has a little bit of a, a tannic, and it, it reminds me, I can see where they got the name, Hallertel Blanc, I'm, I'm guessing, unless there's something I don't know, but it does have a kind of a reminiscent uh, flavor of a white uh, wine, like, uh, what is it, Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, it's good, though. Real good. Uh, there's a number of commercial beers you can find this hop in now. Uh, I think it's usually paired with others. Like uh, this came out, kind of hit the market with the, with the, uh, at the same time the Mandarina Bavaria came out. And so you could find uh, a number of beers. I think that was also a German hop, but uh, a number of them kind of with a combination of these two. They And they, they play nice together. They really do. Mm. Nicely brewed, man. Real clean. That's delicious. Sign me up. All right. I've used this hop in uh, Cezanne, and I've also used it in dry hops and something else. I can't remember what it was. But I like it. That's it. It's a long one this time. But uh, we'll see you guys. Cheers. Until the next one. Home brew up.